accent tutorial and I'm very excited about sharing this information so that you can leverage it as well. This is about how to maintain your Mac operating system so that it's performing at its maximum capabilities. To do that, you need to run a routine maintenance. For example, I use my Mac for all of my YouTube videos and last week I ran into a situation where I was running out of storage space. The Mac device, the Mac operating system, like any other desktop um, computer operating system such as Windows, Linux, or any other devices like your, your phone, your tablet, they run out of storage space. So therefore, you have to run a routine maintenance in order to keep it running at its optimal performance, but also very efficiently. So this tutorial will break down the analysis that I've compiled, which I currently leverage, to keep my Mac running smoothly. First, I would like to thank greatly my current subscribers because for your support, I was able to reach my first milestone my first 1,000 subscribers. So thank you greatly. And if you're new to this channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's located right here inside this video on the bottom right, but also right below this channel. So this way you will not miss out on a lot of great, great contents that I already have in the pipeline. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the today's tutorial. So to remove temporary files from your Mac operating system, you want to understand what these temporary files are and how do they form within your Mac operating system. Based on my analysis, these are group of files that are formed and stored temporarily on several locations, like they do on Windows or other operating systems within a desktop. PCs. These files take up space and these files can be generated from browser usage and also from working with various documents. They use any application on your Mac device which then affect performance, they affect um, productivity and also they can affect when you are making an attempt to, to save future files if your storage space has been taken up. Now, before I explain the two efficient methods, let's now understand how to look in your device to see what is your storage space within your Mac operating system. So to understand what is your current storage limit within your Mac operating system, you want to hop over where you see this Apple sign, click on it, and then click About This Mac. And within the About This Mac, you will want to click the tab Storage. Currently for me, as you can see, I have used a significant amount of space within my Mac because I use this machine to run all of my YouTube videos and other personal ventures as well. So currently I only have available 22.29 gigabyte out of my 250.79 total. It also runs a calculation of which application is taking up the greater amount of space. And currently for me, it's the documents by the other, and then um, the apps, etc. The first step that I will show you is how to effectively empty your trash bin manually. So to effectively empty the trash, you want to press shift command and then delete. And it will prompt you with this window that will say empty trash. And then 
um, it will ask you, are you sure you want to permanently erase the items in the trash? And click empty trash and that will automatically empty the trash for you to verify that your trash actually uh, that your trash bin has been empty just right click on it and you can see here that it's 100% empty because that empty trash is grayed out but you can also open it and you can see that you, your trash bin is now empty so that is the proper way for doing it let's say if you had a lot of backup browsers you would have essentially seen a different window that would also remove all of the browsers However, because I've done this process yesterday, for me, my browser is completely empty right now. But that is a very efficient and effective way to empty your uh, trash bin. Another way to delete your temporary files and free up space within your Mac operating system is to delete the files within the caches folder which is right here and it's under the library i already have this window open because i am doing a screen recording currently and i couldn't launch the finder and go to folder unless if i had this window open but to have this window open you can simply press shift command and then g and that will open up a window that will say go to folder and there you want to type in library and then forward slash and that will open this window here and then from there you want to look for the caches folder which is here to start freeing up the space by deleting appropriately the files that you have the admin right to perform uh, select some of these uh, folders and delete. I'm not going to perform any operation at this time, but that's how that's another way for freeing up the space within your Mac operating system. Now we will move to the third party software, which will be the last section of this tutorial. For illustration of the third-party tool, the application that I currently aim leveraging is called the Disk Cleaner, which again, you can see that it clears up up to 16.83 of gigabyte of your disk usage. This is a very cost-effective software. However, they they are available software that is also free and there's also other software like the disk pro which can run at a much higher price but this is very effective and again you can see here that it it can free up to 16 17 gigabyte so this uh, once you have run the software through your app store you you will launch it through your applications and then it will ask you once you uh, launch it it will ask you to scan so you want to hit scan and once you hit scan it will have this window here which will say disk cleaner needs to access this path to continue at that point you want to click allow to continue and the next window will open it will say disk cleaner dot app would like to access files in your downloads folder you want to say okay in order to progress to the next step it will then open this window here which will show you what available space do you have at that moment and for me because i had already done the manual process which free up up to five gigabytes for me my available uh, space to reclaimable was 6.23 of gigabyte and it will 
check, it will check everything. And so it will go through again through the application logs and it will go through the application caches um, and it will go to the iTunes downloads. And those were the three areas that were marked as yes for me yesterday, which gave me an extra 6.23 of gigabyte. At that point, the clean in progress will show through that window. And it will say your disk has been cleaned and you can see there that it will list those three areas that the software ran and then you simply click finish. And at that point you are done with your uh, disk cleaner. Now your system should be running at a more optimal level and more efficiently. Now this has concluded this tutorial and I will make this slide deck available to download from my website. All of my tutorial videos will be made available as well as the slide deck for some of the tutorials that I used with instructions such as today's tutorial. So I hope that you found a value to this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment on the comment section down below and share this tutorial within your network. Thank you.